I need your help finding someone. This man right here. Local mom, that's Asia Davis there. She put out a plea on TikTok to find a man who stopped a hockey puck from hitting her four-year-old son at a Monsters hockey game. And it was caught on camera the moment it happened Thursday night at the game. Asia's TikTok was posted early Saturday morning and it quickly went viral over the weekend before the Monsters helped orchestrate a very special reunion. Yeah, and our very own Mike Polk Jr. was following the story, so he had the chance to catch up with Asia today. By the time I realized the puck was coming, it was like basically already in the audience and it looked like it was just coming straight towards me. I closed my eyes and covered my face and kind of just braced for impact. Oh my God! And by the time everything had already happened, my eyes were still closed. And when I opened them, Andrew was standing right there with his hand in front of my son. That's the moment that set these strangers on a course for a very viral Cleveland adventure. Asia Davis posted the TikTok about the experience and asked for the internet's help to track down the man whom she believes may have quite literally saved her son Nasir's life. This is just a stranger who was sitting next to you at this hockey game. Never seen him uh, you know, before a day in my life. And he is the one who actually prevented the puck from striking your son. Yes. After the TikTok was posted, it took just eight hours for the internet and Northeast Ohio to do their thing. So I posted it at 2 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning. By 10 a.m. Saturday morning, I had a DM from Andrew. He was just like, everything happens for a reason. I'm glad your little man is okay. When the Monsters organization became aware of the viral story, they invited our heroes to the next game, where Nasir was afforded VIP status. We were able to go downstairs while the team was coming out. We were to high five them and fist bump them. Then we did the ceremonial puck drop. I love when he just places it down very gentlemanly. What was it like to have an arena full of people watch your story and then cheering for you and your son and Andrew? What was that feeling like? I thought my heart was actually outside of my chest. It was beating so hard. I know you've had plenty of chances to thank Andrew, but is there anything that you've learned about Andrew that you want to share with us about him during this time? After the video went viral and people recognized him, started reaching out to me to tell me who he was. Everyone just had such nice things to say about him. This was the good story that I think the country needed currently, and I just want to say on behalf of the country, thank you for some good news over the last few days, and we really enjoyed it. Well, thank you for interviewing me. It's been great. No problem. Go Monsters. Go Monsters. What a good story. It's amazing. It really is. Like two people, really three people brought together by this, you know, serendipitous event and they're connected forever now forever because of it and think about what that little boy is going through his mind he's like wow <laughs> i went to a hockey game with my mom and then the next day he's on the on the ice it's like it's a whirlwind for him but cool. amazing yeah it's really really neat and there's good samaritans in all corners of life just waiting to come out when the situation demands it and there they are and it's I love so stories like that. She posted at 2 a.m. and by 10 a.m. she had a <laughs> message from Andrew. I, like I love wild. She, I, it's wild. I love she said it. I just let the internet do its thing. And it did its thing. And it's incredible. Good it story. Really yep.